It was the night before Christmas, and Planka was at home watching television. One, those made of sawed lumber to specific dimensions. Two, the rustic type made of A, slabs of wood with the bark left on, or B, pieces of tree trunk, or C, of sawed lumber trimmed with bark or twigs, and three, cement or stucco houses. In each case, the entrance should slant slightly upward to keep the rain out. Almost any sort of lumber may be used, but birds take most readily to that which has been weathered out of doors. A kind should be used which does not warp or cheek badly. Pine and cypress meet these requirements and are worked with ease. Yellow poplar is used, and cedar with or without the bark left on has its friends for houses of the first or second classes. Nesting boxes of sod lumber should be painted on the outside to improve their appearance and to preserve them against the effect of the weather. It is often wise to leave a small amount of unpainted surface around the entrance, and all paint should be thoroughly dry before houses are expected to be occupied. Colors selected will depend somewhat upon the neighborhood, but white, gray, dull greens, or browns are often used. Bird houses may be cast of concrete. This requires a mold or form and takes considerable planning to ensure success. A form is made whose inside dimensions are those of the outside of the birdhouse and of the desired shape. A second form or core to be placed inside of the first form is made as large as the inside of the birdhouse. The two forms must be mounted so they will remain in the right relation while concrete is placed in the space between them. After this is set, the forms may be removed, cleaned, and used again. The roof is generally made separately and put in position last, or the roof can be cast as part of the house, in which case the bottom is inserted last. Birds do not take as kindly to this type of house as a rule as to those made of wood. The stucco house has many possibilities. This scene shows a group of such houses designed to match the general appearance of garages in good residence districts. The frame is made of wood and applied by one of the methods in use on large houses. Seventh grade boys have made such houses using 3 8 inches material for the frames, taking on wire netting and then plastering each side of the house in turn with concrete. The sides were given a pebble dash surface while the roof was finished with a steel trowel to give a smooth surface and will shed water readily.